not talking about God and Jesus Christ. Left his heavenly throne. And I know the Jehovah's Witnesses do not believe that God is Jesus. And Jesus is God. And yet Jehovah's Witnesses are dead wrong. I'm here to tell you that Jesus Christ is God and he left his throne. And he was born in a manger. And it was not December 25th. We do not know when Jesus Christ was born. We don't celebrate Tamu. But what we celebrate is God manifested in the flesh born of a virgin. The Holy Spirit came upon the mother of Jesus without the seed of man, without any sexual relation. And Mary was conceived of God through the Holy Spirit. And that child was named Jesus. And Jesus means Jehovah saved. For Jesus came unto his people, the Jews. Jesus runs up the tribe of Judah, of the kingly line of David. Jesus Christ is not African. He's not European. Jesus Christ is Jewish. And he came to seek that which is lost. And if you have never put your faith and trust in Jesus, you are lost. And Jesus Christ began his ministry about 30 years old. And at 33 and a half years old, Jesus Christ suffered and died upon Calvary's cross outside the gates of Jerusalem. He died for man's sin. He shed God's blood, Acts 20:28. 20, Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world by his precious blood, without spot, was offered up upon the cross of Calvary. Golgotha, the place of the skull, where our God and Creator suffered and died according to the Scripture. There the wrath of God was poured out upon him, the cup of all man's sin. There is no sin that the Lamb of God cannot cleanse. For the Lamb of God take away the sin of the world. There is nothing you have done that God cannot forgive you and wash you clean. Come to the Lamb and be washed in the blood. Come to the Lamb and be free of a salvation that's free of God. Who is God? Come and be saved. Come and be known by God who left his throne to die upon the cross. And not only did he die upon the cross according to the scriptures, they buried him as you would do with any dead body. Jesus Christ, God, stone cold dead. And three days and three nights later, according to the scriptures, he arose from the grave. The angel proclaimed, he is not here. 
He's risen. That man may call upon Jesus to be saved. That man may put their faith and trust in the suffering and death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That through Jesus Christ alone you can get to a place called heaven. And then without faith and trust in Jesus, you'll get to a place called hell. And in hell, you'll suffer. And in hell, you'll be tormented. And in hell, because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ. And you need not to go to hell. You don't have to go to hell. It is not God that will cast you into hell. It is you rejecting the finished work of Jesus. When you say no to the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ by faith, God will say to you, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. It is you and your own rebellion against God, against the preaching, against the word of God that cast you into hell. And you can escape hell. And the Bible says to escape hell is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. God, Jesus Christ, has done all he can, all that he is able to save man's soul. And he has left it to man in a free will choice. God doesn't force salvation. You must come to Jesus yourself. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Or as you reject Jesus, Jesus will reject you. And Jesus is God. And when you reject Jesus Christ, you're not going to God's heaven. You cannot say, I'm going to heaven, I believe in God, but not Jesus. That doesn't happen. Because Jesus is God and God is Jesus. All man's salvation rests upon the finished work of Jesus Christ. And you and your option is you can believe and trust or you can rebel and reject. And when you believe and trust on Jesus Christ, when you die, you be absent from the body and present with the Lord, that sage, that died for you, that was buried for you, that rose from the grave for you, that you put your faith and trust in. And if you have rejected Jesus Christ, you will die, and you'll wake up in torments of hell, rejected by God, for you rejected God, Jesus Christ. You can't get to God's heaven in rejection against God. You 
you're going to go to a place for the, for the almighty being, you're going to go to his place when you rebelled and rejected him? When you say no to God, God will say no to you. And when you say, Jesus, I believe and I trust, and you are my means of cleansing me and washing me. And to Jesus, I confess my sins alone. To the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ, I put my faith and trust. And then when you die, you'll be absent from this body and present with the Lord, you'll be in heaven. And you go to heaven through Jesus Christ and through Jesus Christ alone. It's that simple. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And that life is in Jesus Christ. That life is in God. And God is Jesus.